Hey guys, this is just a quick blackout message. You know, like I said, I put something online today where, you know, I was advising that I saw some footage. And the footage was like, you know, I can do all I want my whole life. I can do all the drugs, I can have all the parties, I can have all the women, the men, whatever else is going on, right? You know, I, I want to be very clear with this. I am by no means perfect, but the difference between myself in the community where I reside in terms of spirituality and other organizations, if you will, we obviously are not on the same page, right? Because the thing is, I feel like if you are a leader, right? If you're any kind of leader, if you're a church leader, and again, I am not, however, I was somehow thrown into this. But my opinion on it is, you know, you have this theory, right? Or something that you read in a book that has so many inconsistencies, so many translations, and you sit here and you tell these people, you can do all you want your whole life. You can curse, swear, you can rob, I don't know, kill, whatever people do, right? Whatever is in a, a ridiculous, like one of those sins that is going to be forgiven. If, you know, at the end of your life, all you got to do is say, oh, Lord, please forgive me. And all is forgiven. I'm not disputing that. What I am asking you, church, is what are you telling your people to prepare, right? How are you advising them to prepare, right? So I guess my question to you is what, what is the answer to, what if I close my eyes? What if I get pow pow, right? And I automatically is done. I don't have the opportunity to say most high, forgive me, or Lord, forgive me, or God, forgive me. I don't have the opportunity to do that. So church, my question to you. Not all, I want to be very clear, not all churches, but, you know, there's some specific folks out there that I believe have this agenda of prosperity, right? Where your possessions, the houses, whatever else you got going on in them places, right? All of these things mean so much more than the soul of you, the soul of the people, you know, it, it's bad enough. And I'm, I'm speaking, I'm not, I don't want to say I'm speaking specifically to the black community because that's not true. I realize everybody seems to be going through this. There's something wrong here. You're not going to sit here and piss on us and tell us it's raining. My question to you, church, is what are you doing to prepare people for when they get shot? And when the bullet is immediately, yes, you're immediately dead. That's what my question is. How are you preparing these people? Because so far you saying... Let me go to the parties. Let me do that. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Everything needs to be done within reason, right? There are some places I'm just not going to go to because, you know, I already know what the vibe is. I already know what that life is about. I'm not necessarily interested, right? So in some cases, I wouldn't get myself into a lot of those predicaments. However, there's a target on my back. So I know people are looking, they're going to come over here for me, right? But my question to you is, church, what are you doing to prepare these people for when the bullet goes right through you and you're dead immediately? You don't have the opportunity to say, Lord, most high, whoever, forgive me. What is your answer to that? See, you have to live righteously. So I think that, I don't know if this is a difference between language, speech, jargon. I don't understand what the difference is, but clearly what you're reading and what I'm reading, and I read many, I don't just go by one book. I read many books to come up with an opinion, a conclusion, something to live by. Because obviously I can't depend on the elders of my community. Look what they have done. Every single time we turn around, you're on TV, going to jail, money laundering, drugs, guns, cops waiting in the back of the church. Come on. Come on. And then you expect us to follow you. So we're going to need you to answer some stuff. What do we do during the interim? Hmm? Answer that. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.